Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from a collection from the brand Nasty Nails. This is the, another word for snatch power collection. Um, I'm definitely not going to say it. I'm not going to put it in the title. Uh, there's a polish with it in the name and I'm not going to say it then either. It's the P word. It refers to a woman's anatomy and it's that word power collection. These are all gel polishes, so in the description box below, I will link the Nasty Nail site, I will link their Instagram page, and I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from this collection. So these are gels. Um, I did cure everything in between coats. I used a peel-off base coat for most of them, and then the last polish, um, I used their gel remover, which I will show that in action as well. So for the last polish, I didn't use a peel-off base coat. So anyway, we just have four gels to look at today and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have this Flower is Bomb and this is a light kind of sheer peachy pink crelly. So here's our first coat of this Flower is Bomb. This covers pretty well on this first coat considering how light of a color it is. It is just a little bit streaky so I am going to go ahead and build this one up. Formula on this is great, smooth, easy to work with. This is a gel polish, so it is on the thicker side, but it's not difficult to work with whatsoever. So here's our second coat, and that builds up really, really nicely in two coats. It's still just a little bit patchy, so I am going to build it up with a third coat. What's awesome about gel polishes is you can work with them as long as you need to, and they're not going to cure until you put them under a lamp. They won't dry, so you can work with them until you're happy with them. So here's our third coat, and that does cover completely in three coats. These also all dry nice and glossy all on their own. I would recommend a top coat though just for the longevity purposes of your manicure. So there is three coats. Next we have Panani Nani, and this is a kind of brighter, more like flowery hibiscus pink cream. Here's our first coat of Punani Nani. This one covers really, really well here on this first coat. Almost a one coater, but not quite. I'm sure if you manipulated it enough and did a little bit thicker of a coat, you could get it in one. But I am working in very thin coats, so my gel cures evenly. So here's our second coat, and that does cover completely in two coats. I do feel like this one gets a little bit lighter after it's cured and dried. This one is also going to dry nice and glossy all on its own. Again, this one does have a really good, very smooth formula to work with. So there is two coats. Up next, we have pretty pink P word. Um, it'll be on the screen, but I'm definitely not going to say it. And this is a more like dusty, mauve pink cream. Here's our first coat of Pretty Pink Hoo-Ha. Formula is, again, very smooth. No issues with running or pooling. It does have a gel formula again, so you can work with this one as long as you need to until you're happy with it. This one does cover pretty well here on this first coat, just a little bit streaky, so I am going to go in for a second coat. So here's our second coat, and that does cover completely in two coats. Just like the rest of these, they are going to dry nice and glossy all on its own. I would still recommend using a top coat over all of these, just to give your manicure that nice plump gel finish, as well as to keep it lasting. So there is two coats. And then lastly for today we have Nookie Cookie and this is a dusty rosy pink cream. So here is our first coat of Nookie Cookie. This one also covers really really well here on this first coat. Again I'm working in extremely thin coats so my gels can cure evenly but if you worked a little bit thicker, you could probably get this one opaque in one. Formula is, again, very smooth and easy to work with. I had no issues working with any of these polishes. So here is that second coat, and this does cover completely in two coats. This one is also going to be nice and glossy, and I will show you how I remove this one with their douche it remover in a second. Okay, 
so I just applied a nice thick coat of this all over the gel polish. Um, there is a lot of controversy with using these because there's no ingredients list. This one does have an ingredients list to it, so I felt okay doing this. I just made sure not to get it on any of my skin, only on the gel, and it started working almost immediately and like popping. So when it popped away, or when it bubbled up like this, it was actually pulling itself off of my nail bed and um, you, could, you could kind of feel when it was done. So this was actually really, really easy to use in an awesome way for me to use gel polishes because I hate the removal process. So then I just took an orange stick and peeled it off of my nail and it came off in one nice easy piece. So that's the douche it remover. So my favorite of the collection is Nookie Cookie. This is a super flattering rosy pink on me. Um, this is kind of one of my go-to shades. If I don't know what else to wear, I will throw on a rose pink. This did have a good formula. I'm not typical to wear gel because I like to switch out my nails regularly or I have a load of swatching to do during the week. So gels I don't wear too often, but this is definitely a color I could get behind if I was going on a trip or doing something that I needed to keep my manicure lasting. I love this kind of color and it's just a super flattering universally shade. So Nikki Cookie was my favorite of the collection. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.